ClearPath Operational Mode 14. Move to Absolute Position, 16 Positions. Move to Absolute Position, 16 Positions, is the mode to use when you want to smoothly move between up to 16 arbitrary positions that are referenced to a mechanical stop or a particular motor shaft position and without the need for any sensors. To use this mode, connect ClearPath to the MSP software, select the 16 position version of the Move to Absolute Position mode, and configure it with your motion parameters, speed limit, acceleration, and profile conversion. Profile conversion converts a standard trapezoidal move profile with simple linear acceleration into a more sophisticated profile that minimizes move vibration and settling time. All ClearPath motors come standard with Regressive Auto Spline, RAS, profile conversion, which converts the traditional trapezoidal motion profile into a profile with minimized jerk and jerk derivative for smooth, quiet moves with reduced peak torque usage. Technic's G-Stop profile conversion, available as an option, can be used to drastically reduce machine resonance and vibration. Next, define up to 16 target positions relative to the home position. Home is the user-defined zero position relative to a hard stop of the axis previously detected by ClearPath. I'll set position index number 1 to 0, index number 2 to 2300, index 3 to 5500, and so on. To select a position to move to, you just toggle the B input the number of times that corresponds to that position's index number. I'll demonstrate this using the MSP software inputs. First, I'll override the hardware inputs and enable the motor from MSP. Input A triggers the move to your selected position, so you'll want it to be deasserted while you're selecting your target position with input B. Now I'll toggle, in other words, assert and deassert, input B to increment the position index. Toggling input B three times selects position index number three, which I previously set to be 5,500 counts from the home position. Asserting input A triggers the move to the selected position. When you deassert input A, the index counter will reset, and then the next position can be selected. If you select the wrong index number, you can clear the index counter by leaving input B asserted while asserting input A. After this reset, you can deassert both inputs and start fresh. As mentioned earlier, the home position is relative to a hard stop that is detected by ClearPath during its homing routine. Technic's hard stop detection algorithm is very precise and repeatable, but in the past, if the hard stop itself wore down over time or got dirty, the home position would naturally be less accurate. But now with ClearPath firmware 2.0 and above, a feature called Precision Homing solves this problem. I'm currently set to home every time I enable the motor, so I'll home the axis again by turning the enable input off and then on again. This dial indicator shows the current home position. I've zeroed it so we can easily see if the home position changes. If I turn off precision homing and home the axis again, inserting a shim in front of the hard stop, the home position now has an error equal to the thickness of the shim. But if I turn on precision homing and try to induce the same error again, The original home position is set perfectly. Even a relatively large error can be corrected by precision homing. Let's see what happens if we home with the hard stop bumper missing.
Precision homing still sets the home position accurately. If your positioning application only requires two positions, take a look at the two position move to absolute position mode, which is also available on the lower price MCVC models. If you need more than 16 positions, but still a finite number, look at the move incremental distance mode.